Hi, my name is Bill. Today we take you to Orlando, Florida and Walt Disney World where last week they launched the new Magic Band Plus. We're going to show you the Magic Band Plus, an unboxing, some of the features it has, and also give you our thoughts as well as what is available. So stick around and we hope you enjoy this episode. Angela and I happened to be staying at a Disney resort, so we were able to get the Magic Band Plus when it was released at 7 a.m., although we didn't make it there for 7 a.m., and not have to brave the crowds at the gift shops at the amusement parks, which were lengthy with people uh, looking to buy the new Magic Band Plus. Now, the new Magic Band Plus is a improvement or a new offering over the traditional Magic Band. The Magic Band Plus comes with a USB charging cable. It is uh, rechargeable. It has some haptic type features on it. Also, uh, interactive features that you can use at Star Wars and various parks for some uh, interactive scavenger hunts, some enhanced experiences, particularly during the fireworks show. We did not experience those yet. We will be back in a couple of weeks to Disney and we will be experiencing all of that firsthand. Now, it's important to note your old Magic Bands will still continue to work, and they will also still be sold at Disney World. This is just another additional offering. Here is Angela. She's going to do the uh, a quick unboxing and tries to uh, untangle the whole thing from its, uh, its holder. Uh, like I said, it does come with a USB charging cable. You should also note that it comes with a 40% charge, or seems to be about a 40% charge. However, you do need a 60% charge to update the firmware on it. So you may want to bring a, uh, a charging block or some sort of a battery charger that you can uh, plug it into so that you can uh, get the battery percentage up a little bit and update the firmware. Now, linking it was a, a bit challenging. The new Disney, Mighty, Disney Experience app hasn't been... Uh, very user-friendly to a large degree. It's very buggy. You're supposed to be able to hold this near your phone and your phone would uh, automatically sense it. We did not find that to be the case at all. We actually had to go into the My Disney Experience app, go into the menu for Magic Bands and link it using the code that is on the back of the uh, Ma Magic Band uh, face itself. I do kind of like this charging cradle or the, the, the charging thing that comes with it, it kind of snaps in. So unlike the Apple watches that they're always fall, falling off, this one uh, snaps in pretty nicely. As you can see, it's a little uh, USB cable you can plug into uh, a charging block or, or someplace to get a charge. Now, as is the case with the regular Magic Bands, it can be used as your digital key to enter your resort hotel room. It serves as your park ticket when scanning through for uh, your admission to each park. You can use it to pay for purchases around the park if you are staying at Disney, like with the regular Magic Band. And you can also use it to enter attractions and lightning lanes booked through Disney Genie. Also, it is uh, it connects your photo pass if you happen to have a photo pass on the My Disney Experience app as well. Now, the Magic Band Plus also comes with customizable color-changing lights that you can do through your My Disney Experience app. It also has haptic vibrations when you enter the park. There are interactive features with the 50th anniversary character statues as well. On the Play Disney Parks app, there's a uh, interactive scavenger hunt where you can try to find all 50 characters. There's also a Star Wars uh, bounty hunters type of game that you can use in again in the Play Disney Parks app as well. Initially, it appears that there were about 25 different Magic Bands available. As I'm sure you expect, there will be many, many special editions, Dooney and Bork, Pass Holder, and uh, other offerings that will go on. The mouse always gets his dollar. If you're still watching, we invite you to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying the content. We plan on adding quite a bit more. Also, 
Please subscribe, hit that notification bell, that way you don't miss out on any future content. As well as cruises and all-inclusives, Angel and I are big Disney fans as well. We're annual pass holders, and we will actually be staying for two weeks at the end of this month. Uh, one week at the Old Key West Resort, and another week at the Saratoga Springs Resort. We plan on doing a ton of videos, including demonstrations of the Magic Band Plus, and also a little more information on the, the Genie Plus and Lightning Lane system. Now, we weren't planning on being there for the launch. It just happened to be. We had plans in advance, and it was here. So we really didn't get to use it a whole lot. Angela did use it to enter Animal Kingdom that day, and it worked fine, flawlessly, no issues whatsoever. We, Like I said, when we're back, we're going to actually give it the test, and uh, we'll, we'll do video of all that. So whether we think it's worth it or not right now, the pricing isn't terrible. It looks like it does have some cool new features, so if you're, you know need to buy a Magic Band anyway, might as well go with the Magic Band Plus. It looks like it'll have some uh, s some cool features and uh, some cool things in the future. Again, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. For the people that have subscribed, thank you so much. We are up well over 1,200 subscribers in record time. For those who haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. It helps us out. It costs you nothing. And this way you can get some really good content on all things travel. Again, on behalf of Angela, we'd like to thank you for watching and come join us on our next adventure. Bye-bye, everybody.